Hey, this is Adrian, the founder and CEO behind Creativio AI, and I would like to warmly welcome you to our platform. And uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to walk you through the platform, explain a little bit on how you can navigate through it and what exactly it is that you can generate um, using our platform. The engine of Creativio AI lays um, under the create section where you have a couple of options. You can choose to go with text to image, and this is a free uh, style text to image generation. What I like to do here is actually generate scenes for my product shoots. This is actually where all the magic happens within Creativio. So let's go ahead and first upload a photo of uh, a product. So let me just uh, find a suitable one. All right, so let's upload an image. Let's say I'll be using this uh, not so good looking burger image. This is kind of a still image. Uh, not looking that tasty, not looking that good. Let's just go ahead and click on next. Now, when I click on this button, what is going to happen? We're going to get our background removed and we're going to get the burger isolated like this. So what I'll be doing is just drawing it a little bit, making it a little bit bigger on my screen, all right? So there's two ways to go about creating a photo shoot. If you are experienced in prompting, you can go ahead and start writing your prompt right in this box over here. But if you are not so experienced, we have our magic editor over here, which I really encourage you to go ahead and play around with it because it's going to help you uh, create stunning images uh, right from the scratch. Or if you even want a simpler, faster solution, uh, you can use this uh, field over here and then use prompt magic um, action from uh, from the left side button. So let's go ahead and use it this. And I'm also going to make a separate video showing you exactly uh, what are all the options that you see over here, how to use them to get perfect photo uh, uh, product photo shoots. Uh, also, you have like advanced photography settings like lightning, colors, compositions, camera angles, mood styles. Uh, you name it and here's where you can also set your uh, brand logo to be uh, watermark on the image and also select the brand colors from uh, from here all right so we already have our brand colors inserted over here all right so uh, let's go ahead and say a juicy cheeseburger sitting on a wooden plate uh, let's say sitting on a a um black uh wooden plate making it more interesting with lettuce uh and onions flying around making the scene a mall oh, all right let's see uh cheese burger did i the cheese burger yeah okay uh all right, let me just uh, correct a couple of things over here. And onions flying around, making the scene a mouthful. Uh, a delicious photo. Uh, sorry, a delicious photo shoot scene. Uh, let's say uh, food photo shoot scene. Um, now this would be suffice for the engine to generate something really great. Uh, of course, what you also can do is th just, uh, put the negative prompts over here, like, uh, two burgers, two cheese burgers. So we make sure that the engine is not generating, um, the burgers, some, some burger behind our, uh, our main, uh, hero burger. It's something I like to do to make sure that my 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 photo shoots uh, a, are actually precise right from the scratch. Uh, I'm gonna select four variations of this, and I can go with photographic, which is the default uh, style selected. Uh, but I would like something a little bit more maybe cinematic because I'm going to make an ad out of it. So I can go with this and. And generate but what I am going to do is actually use the prompt magic option so just to demonstrate what this is capable of now what does what this does is actually taking my input message and turn it into a 
detailed with intricate details, uh, burger, food, photography, scene. So let's go ahead and just generate and see what we get. And boom, look at that. We already generated a couple of images over here that uh, takes the burger as a centerpiece and look at the splash behind and it, it's really, a uh, really cinematic style. All right, so because this is AI, uh, right now we're still working on figuring out uh, why sometimes we get the second burger generated behind our main subject. Um, I'm sure we're gonna be finding a solution for this uh, soon. Um, but for now, you all already got a couple of images that are ready to go. All right, so let me show you something you can also do with uh, your image. If you get some weird stuff generated behind your main subject, uh, you can go ahead and select the brush over here, just uh, make it a little bit bigger. And we can actually go ahead and remove this top layer. We don't want this in our uh, in our picture. So let me just go ahead and mask it out. And here, what I'm going to do is just uh, remove burger and replace with background uh, mustard splash. Right. So let's just go ahead and regenerate our image. So what this actually does is is just getting rid of the extra um, extra uh, extra image pixels that we have generated with the AI over here, and it's going to replace it uh, accordingly to my new prompt. So let's see a new uh, a new generated image here, and boom! Look at that. In just one go, I was able to fix the image and create something very beautiful for our new uh, burger. You can see we have four variations you can choose from. Not always you're going to get, but this image is actually looking very good. Uh, you can go ahead and just download the final image generated. Uh, so yeah, this is basically a product photo shoot in a, um, in a nutshell, right? Um, let's go ahead and move to magic remover, which actually does exactly what I told you. Uh, it does, let's say, for example, let's just select uh, this image that we've generated. And let's say we don't want to see this red looking, uh, stuff. It, it looks like tomatoes, but for some reason, I don't want them in my, in my shot. I can go ahead and just, uh, um, uh, select them and just hit remove and in just a couple of seconds I am able to fix uh, parts of the image uh, that I didn't like so look at that I got rid of the weird looking tomatoes that were flying out of my burger uh, you can see the before and after we got the tomatoes and then boom it's gone so yeah this is what you can do with a magic remover uh, let's move on to your assets so whatever you upload on your uh, account, you're going to be able to find them in your assets page. Uh, so let's for a second uh, say that we want to regenerate something for a product that we previously generated like this burger uh, or this um, uh, uh, this bamboo looking um, 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 skincare product. All right. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and select it over here. Uh, click on generate. It's going to import it into the product photo shoot setup scene uh, where I can go ahead and modify it a little bit. Let's make it a little bit smaller or make it uh, centered. And uh, let me also show you what you can do with this uh, skincare uh, product or cups on top of a, let's say, yeah, you, you can select from here on top of, or you can select like in front of balancing, emerging. Uh, hiding behind, suspended above, batted in. Uh, let's let's go with uh, resting on um, a uh, bamboo. Uh, resting on a bamboo uh, bamboo plate. Uh, maybe uh, the base texture would be wooden, and I would like to have it. Uh, let's see. Let's say wooden base texture. Or just place with wooden over here uh surrounding with um let's say i wanted to surround it with and in the midst of or we can put against a uh you can also choose from the predefined ones over here we can go with uh probably we can go with something like uh 
uh, grudgy wall, or maybe even better, we can go with some uh, garden or some uh, some sort of a forest. Let's see, forest. Yeah, we got we got forest over here. Um, let's say tropical forest, right? We can create this tropical forest. And now what I'm going to do is actually play around with the advanced photography settings, which I'm going to use my light effects. Let's say I want to have, um, let's say natural lightning maybe be the best pick for this uh, product photography, tropical sunset. Uh, all right, so you can just get creative with uh, with what you what you put over here. Uh, colors, I wanted it to be, let's say, natural. All right, this is natural because it's in uh, let's select natural. Um, the composition, I would like to have this as a depth of field image. Uh, camera angles, I'll go with the uh, close up shot for the product photography in this uh, scenario. Uh, and as a mood of the photo, I want to select a, let's say, mm, can go with uh, something rustic, uh, maybe whimsical. All right, let, let, let's just do that. Uh, I can also use my brand logo, but I'm not going to do that in this scenario. Instead of writing anything over here, I'm just go ahead and use this field as my uh, as my prompt. And it's, uh, it's created uh, uh, the prompt for me over here. So let's just go ahead and hit generate image. And now instead of using this uh, advanced field, uh, we're going to be using the one with the magic editor. And boom, look at that. We have quite some great photography, like photo shoots in a forest on some bamboo um, uh, bamboo surface that the product is sticking. We have the bamboo sticks behind it. Uh, we have the, the lighting that we wanted to have. Uh, and yeah, we can even go ahead and do something, uh, um, generate another set of images and see if we can get better ones. So because we're dealing with generative AI, not all the time we're gonna get the best uh, results. You have to go through some trial and errors, but eventually if you're using the right settings and if you, uh, if you, if you keep trying to get the best results, you will eventually get some really great looking uh, photos like this one. Look at this one. It has, this is actually perfect. It has our product in the main stage. We have a bamboo plate. We have the bamboo sticks and we have the tropical forest behind uh, our, our main subject, right? And sometimes we get this weird uh, stuff generated behind, but uh, uh, if you, if you put the, um, the effort in generating a couple more and, and, and play around with your prompt, and, and get the uh, the best one, uh, you are eventually going to get these beautiful looking uh, photos, all right? So what I can do is actually take my prompt, my initial prompt, do this, disable this one, and also use uh, prompt magic, and then generate again, and see what exactly is that we're gonna be uh, receiving from the AI engine. Now remember, we're always tweaking on the product. We're always tweaking on uh, the options over here and try to get it uh, to the real as possible for photo uh, photo shoots photography. Uh, so uh, yeah, you are going to test this out with us uh, until we get the perfect uh, perfect product shots, right? Yeah, I'm not claiming that this is going to give you the best product shots, the the most realistic ones every generation but what it can do it can speed up the process for you and it's also going to cut the costs on hiring expensive uh product photography experts and stuff like that so you can basically generate beautiful looking uh product shots for your stores for your e-commerce for your uh, shop for your social media and just use it uh, as they come from our uh, application. And look at that we have generated a couple more it, this product actually looks really good and we can enhance the prompts so depending on what prompt you're giving that's the the result you're going to be receiving but as you can see right off the gate i am able to generate quite some good looking product images for uh most of the generations now depending on the product so if you have like uh, let's say uh you have multiple stuff that is on the image and the engine is not really able to uh, make a great mask out of it um, then you're not going to get the best results. But I've already seen users playing around with the software and generating some amazing uh, product photo shoots for 
uh, for their products and for their stores. And this is something that I truly want to see from you all from, from playing around with the application and get the best product shots out there. Now look at this. This is actually even better. So we're getting closer to what we would like to see. And this is a, a still photography style. This is really, really nice as well. Um, yeah, so this is actually how you can use the product uh, uh, photo shoot um, section. Now we already talked about the assets. You'll you'll be finding all of your um, your images uploaded over here. We got the community feed, which is actually um, uh, kind of same stuff from the dashboard. You're gonna be able to see what other people are generating, and you can go ahead and filter them by uh, by new, by top. So every every generation is going to be available over here with the goods and the bads. Everything is going to be here. Uh, now we just started this. This is pioneering into this sphere. So I hope you're going to be uh, embarking with us on this uh, amazing journey where we're going to be transforming product photography forever. And I really look forward in seeing what you guys can come up with. And hopefully I can feature many of your generations with your permission on the on our social media. All right. So yeah, this is kind of it for this video. Um, of course, you can see your credit status, uh, your your license, um, and your, the credits that you have left under your account. Uh, also, you have the billing information over here. Uh, and soon, we'll be able to add integrations here for everyone for with Shopify and with WordPress. This is not actually available at this time, but it's something that we're going to be adding in the future. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find the YouTube channel over here. Uh, follow us on Twitter and also join Discord community. This is where experts are sharing their prompts and they're sharing the expertise. So I really look forward in seeing you on Discord. I'm also there so we can interact with each other. Uh, and also follow us on Facebook. If you follow us on Facebook, go ahead and, and click on, on the social media links and connect with us. I look forward in seeing what you're able to come up with and uh, and see all the generations that you guys are going to uh, create with uh, Creativio AI. And also, if you do like it, don't forget to share it on Facebook and share it with your friends. Uh, just invite them over. Hopefully, they're going to be um, just as excited as you are right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at any time. I'm here to help. Um, also, I'll be creating some more training videos in the future in the future um, that are actually targeting a um, specific type of, of product photography and what exactly it is that you can do with all the features. And uh, there's a couple of more features that are along the way are in the development and hopefully we're going to be able to bring them to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this welcoming video, this introductory video. I know it's been a long one. Uh, but hope uh, it it's uh, it has been worth to to watch it, and you got a very good understanding on what you can do inside Creative Your platform. And again, thank you so much for putting trust and joining uh, Creative Your AI family. And this is Adrian, the the founder and CEO behind Creative Your. Um, and yeah, I look forward to hearing back from you uh, very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.